Hi, Dave Klappenberger with Klappenberger & Son Painting. Today we're going to take a look at part two of who has the best cabinet paint. The most durable, the scuffest resistance, the scratchest resistant paint out there on the market. It's a great question. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, I recommend you taking a look at that so I don't have to go and repeat all the details that are in there. But before we get started, I'd just like to mention that Klappenberger & Son is very excited about franchising across the entire United States, or at least most of it. And if you're interested in franchising with us and becoming part of the Klappenberger & Son family, please visit our website, and we look forward to contacting you shortly. Now that the Crisco and olive oil has been on there for almost four months, it's time to add another test to it. We're going to put mustard, ketchup, pencil, crayon, red wine, and coffee on there and clean it off. Crud cutter is pretty strong. You can see it's already lifting the wine stains. Just knocks them right off. This is bleach and water. That's a lot of chemicals, I get it. But it's what I've been using to clean everything. Got emerald urethane, Aura, C2 cabinet paint with no hardener in it, Benjamin Moore Command, C2 with hardener, Breakthrough from Pittsburgh, C2 with hardener again over here, Advance by Benjamin Moore, and Ultra Last, which is a new paint from Pittsburgh. And my theory is, is let the chemicals do the cleaning first, this is interesting. You can really feel a difference. As I just clean across here, this is smooth and hard, and this is kind of sticky and soft. The emerald urethane. You can still see quite a bit of mustard. That's really normal. That's nothing to get too excited about. You know, and as I clean, I expect that the mustard's gonna come off a little bit easier on other because the chemical's been on there longer. And there's a that's a pretty interesting picture of what the mustard does. Everything, I think it's safe to say that just about everything comes off easily except for mustard. And this mustard's been on for about 30 hours. Look how easy. Boy, this really cleans up nicely. Boy, is that soft. That is advanced. That's advanced from Ben Moore. Very nice job. Very hard finish. Remember, this has had the, the, the oil on it but still plenty of mustard. We'll see if we can get that off a little bit later. Oh my, Aura. Nice job, Aura. That's got a nice hard finish to it as well. A little soft, very hard. A little sticky with the Ultra Last. Interesting. I like, uh, I like the Advance so far. I'm gonna give the edge to that. This is the C2 with, with no hardener. You might not have ever heard of C2. It's a it's kind of, I guess, a boutique paint. Oh, that's soft. Yep, this is soft with the cleaners on there. It softens it up. How does it handle the... Nobody has any paint coming off yet, I don't think. Oh, yep, the C2 with no hardener does. Okay. This is C2 with hardener. A little sticky. I'm not going to scratch it off. I'm getting tired of scratching it off um, if I could. I don't want to try because once this, the chemicals dry, it, the paint hardens up. You know, if you're sitting there putting uh, light industrial cleaners on and then you're scratching it off with your fingernail, you know, I mean, come on now. Let's just keep going. There's still mustard stains there, you know, that are very visible. But I'll tell you what, don't let red wine scare you. Boy, that just comes right off. It's that that turmeric just really soaks in there. Nobody nobody got a, a hundred percent with the turmeric coming off. I want to try some bleach and water, bleach and water, and spray night. I'm going to let this sit. That advanced looks like it's really starting to pick up a little bit. Wow, this is the C2 with no hardener. It's just totally falling apart. Look at that. It's totally falling apart. Very interesting. Now we know which one is, is the worst. And this is the C2 with the hardener. 
Oh, is that coming off? Yep, the seat tail with the hardener is coming off. I guess these are too strong of chemicals, man. That is really coming through the test. How about the, ben the Benjamin Moore Command? Can you believe that? Look at that. Holy smoke. Holy smoke. And the breakthrough. Look at that. Coming off. That's Pittsburgh breakthrough. And then the C2. Oh my God. Look at that. Holy smoke. When we used the light industrial chemicals, and we did a lot of that, on a flat surface where it was unable to roll off, some of the paints really failed and some did really well. Very interesting. The Benjamin Moore Command did the best. The second best was the advance slightly, just slightly ahead of the Pittsburgh Ultra Last. After that, the, the C2, with or without the hardener, didn't seem to matter much. Breakthrough came off and the emerald urethane also failed as well. When we flipped the door over, however, and we look at it where it was primed with oil primer, had the same top coats, but this time we just put the Crisco and the olive oil on it without any of the other stains and none of the harsh chemicals, the results were different. The Benjamin Moore Command still was top gun, but it was tied this time with C2 with the hardener. Both of them super hard finishes, and the oil sitting on there for four months had no impact at all. Now, on the Advance and the Ultra Last, if I dug my fingernail in there as hard as I could, I could get it to scrape off, but it would took a lot of effort. After eight to 10 weeks, the oil I was able to scrape off with some moderate digging with my fingernail, and the same is the case with the C2 hardener. I give the edge to the oil because it ultimately has a harder finish than the C2 with no hardener. The breakthrough also scratched off about the same period, about eight to 10 weeks, but that surface just got soft. It was very easy to, to um, have that paint come off. I definitely don't recommend using breakthrough. And which one came in even worse than breakthrough was the emerald urethane gloss. That scratched off fairly easily and got soft, very soft, in just about two or three weeks. I am going to go ahead and be testing the emerald urethane satin finish. In an upcoming video, I'm going to be trying out some new cabinet paints that I haven't tested yet. The emerald urethane satin finish is one. Another Sherwood Williams product that I'm really curious about is the from is a Pro Classic uh, brand that has alkali and acrylic resins combined. I'm interested. I think that's going to be pretty durable. Also, just want to throw in duration semi gloss, uh, fine paints of Europe gloss. And Pittsburgh has one called Advantage 900. Look for that video to be coming out shortly. Please subscribe, give us a like. I'll see you on the next one.